students the third step in the analysis of organic compounds is to find out whether the given compound is aliphatic or aromatic the term aromatic compound stands for the whole series of compounds which contain one or more benzene rings in their molecule the stable character of aromatic compounds is due to the presence of a ring structure specifically benzene a compound is aromatic if it is cyclic planar and completely conjugated with 4n+2 pi electrons which means it follows huckel's rule benzene is an aromatic hydrocarbon because it obeys huckel's rule the pi bonds in resonance that is those containing delocalized electrons give increased stability compared to other geometric or connective arrangements with the same set of atoms an aliphatic compound means any chemical compound belonging to the organic class in which the atoms are connected by single double or triple bond to form a non aromatic structure there are two tests to find out whether the given organic compound is aliphatic or aromatic ignition test and nitration test in ignition test take a little of the given organic compound and ignite it in a nickel spatula if the organic compound burns with a smoky flame it indicates the presence of an aromatic substance if it burns with a non smoky flame it indicates the presence of an aliphatic substance the smoky flame is due to the higher percentage of carbon content in aromatic substances for conducting nitration test firstly we need to prepare the nitrating mixture for this take a dry test tube add 1 ml of concentrated sulfuric acid cool it in an ice bath and add 1 ml of concentrated nitric acid slowly into it to this nitrating mixture add a little of the given organic compound and keep it in a boiling water bath for 15 minutes it is then poured into a beaker containing cold water yellow solution or yellow precipitate indicates the presence of an aromatic substance If a colorless solution is obtained it indicates the presence of an aliphatic substance since aromatic compounds are easily nitrated giving yellow nitro derivatives we get yellow coloration or precipitate in this reaction The fourth step in organic analysis is to find out whether the given organic compound is saturated or unsaturated. A saturated organic compound has only single bonds between carbon atoms whereas unsaturated compounds contain double or triple bonds that is multiple bonds between carbon atoms. Unsaturated compounds usually undergo typical addition reactions whereas saturated compounds do not undergo addition reactions there are three tests to distinguish between saturated and unsaturated compounds bayer's test test with bromine water and test with bromine in carbon tetrachloride bayer's test Take a little of the substance in a test tube, mix it with water, shake well and add 2 or 3 drops of dilute potassium permanganate solution. If there is no decolorization of pink color of permanganate solution, it indicates the presence of a saturated compound. If decolorization of KMnO4 occurs, it indicates the presence of an unsaturated compound. Same 
NO4 is a hydroxylating agent and it can add two OH groups to a carbon-carbon double bond forming 1-2 diols. Easily oxidizable compounds such as phenol, aniline, etc. also decolorize the permanganate solution. Being an oxidizing agent, KMNO4 oxidizes easily oxidizable compounds like phenol, aniline, etc. which is indicated by decolorization. Test with bromine water. Take a little of the substance in a test tube. Mix it with water, shake well and add little bromine water drop wise. If there is no decolorization of bromine water, it indicates the given organic compound is saturated. Immediate decolorization indicates the presence of unsaturated compounds. Decolorization of bromine by unsaturated compounds is due to the addition of bromine to the double bond. If decolorization occurs with the formation of a precipitate, it indicates that the compound is saturated and has an activating group. Decolorization of bromine with the formation of a precipitate by saturated compounds is due to the substitution by bromine. Test with bromine in carbon tetrachloride. Take a little of the substance in a test tube, dissolve it in carbon tetrachloride and add bromine in carbon tetrachloride carefully. If there is no decolorization, it indicates the given organic compound is saturated. Decolorization occurs with the evolution of HBr. It indicates the given organic compound is unsaturated. This is due to the addition of bromine to the double bond. If decolorization occurs without the evolution of HBr, it indicates the given organic compound is saturated and has an activating group. This is due to the substitution by bromine. We have seen how to test whether an organic compound is aliphatic or aromatic, saturated or unsaturated. Hope you understood the experiments and the chemistry behind it very well. Thank you.